Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And what we're going to do today, we're going to give Matt a ring from Essex, but he's born in Leeds. Matt the Casual. Here we go. Matt the Casual. He's got a problem with some of my videos. How are you doing, Matt? I'm alright, it's up your son. Yeah, I prefer Porky. I'm alright, I'm alright, Porky, you. Yeah, uh, I got your number off a pal of mine because you, you obviously follow the channel, but you don't like my attacks on Sky Sports and Matchroom and Eddie Hearn, apparently, is that right? Yeah, hang on, mate. Right, why, why are you an Eddie Hearn fan? Am I? What do you think of that? No, I don't think I am. I was, but I don't like how what we're boxing's heading, heading at the moment. I think that people like you and them gimps that you knock around with, with your jeans halfway up your legs, walking around with your stupid tattoos. I mean, how many shows and matchums do you go to a, a year? champion of the world is? Better, no. Do you know who the light heavyweight champion of the world is? No. Right, so you're basically a full on casual then aren't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But are, are you happy to be known as that? Well we, 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 are, we are, we don't, we, we don't pretend, we are what we are, you know, it's uh, it's a divide, isn't it? That, that's, the, that's the problem. It's not a problem for me because I'm in my little, you know, I'm in my remit and I'm living my life through boxing. They enjoy boxing and, it, and, it, and it's the life of Eddie Earth and what makes it enjoyable for us. It may not it may not branch out into, uh, you know, the lower stream of people and the lower class of people and I think that's where the frustration is. But he's trying to keep it an iron market. That's why he's, you know, moving to America. That's why he's bringing in Saudi Arabia. That's why he's giving all his free tickets and he's putting all these shows on in Essex and Lambert. He's not gonna he's not gonna say, Look, I'm in Chigwell, I've just booked out King with the fourth pub, which is on obviously Chigwell Road, I'm not promoting it, but you know, it's, it is a good place and I'm sort of taking over Essex. I don't care about Scottish people, Irish people, Northern people. If you if you lot want to be involved, you've got to pay twenty quid and watch the show. Well we get like a VIP sort of different aspect on it and I think that's where conflict's coming from. Do you understand what I'm saying, Porky? Uh, you know, you're you're sat at home Porky, you're waiting at home, you've paid your twenty quid, right? You watch your fight, whether you enjoy it or not, you have an opinion on it. I don't I don't do that. I'm up at eight o'clock, I spring out of bed at six o'clock, go on a run, come back, like I say, I get picked up. I get driven to Bucker's still, we're going to Epping Forest have his tea, we'll come back and get changed, we'll go around Shigwell, into Loughton, Busted Show, after Show's party, can run all fucking weekend. It's a, it's a different it's a different 
you know, it's, it's, it's a different take on it, and every year it makes it all happen, and that's why we love it. All right, well, it, it what? Takes it, to a, it takes it to a different league for, for, for different people. Them, them people might only be a small group of people, but why is it small? Look how many millions he's making, and he took it all around the world. Okay, do you think that box? Do you think that boxing at the moment it's a bit like going to watch Man United? There's certain fans that can't afford to go because obviously you people obviously sit in good seats, don't you? But not everybody's not everybody's got a few, kid, aren't they? Do you think it's being lost on the man taking his son to boxing like the 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 football? Yeah, yeah, and that education's going further back, further back, further back. Obviously, I'm northern, you can hear me absent. Now, if I drove back up north today and you know, I picked some guy from, say, Wakefield, who was, let's say, 32 year old, he's a big boxing fan, he's paid his subscription, he's getting frustrated and frustrated and frustrated. If I tell him where he's within Saudi Arabia and within, um, you know, within America, whether it's Vegas, and I tell him all about the Vegas shows, Mandalay Bay and MGM Arena, and, you know, and I can say, you know, and I can educate him on, on boxing and, and, and around the world. And obviously, like I say, you've got Matcha and we've got Brentwood, Sugar Up, all these after shows in Loughton, Booker, still Chigwell, what I've mentioned, all these fucking areas. If, if I could sort of take him out of Wakefield and have a weekend with me, then dump him back into Wakefield, I can say that's boxing. And Eddie Hearn creates that, and that's the show. It's the old pizzazz around it. But if I just left him in Wakefield, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna break away and break away and break away. But then I'd say to the guy in Wakefield, this is where the money is. You know, if Dad's home's going down, if this is going down, this is going down, the sponsorship's going down, and the sky's going down, and obviously there's, there's Netflix, there's everything, attack, 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 at that, and everybody wants to split a, a piece of pie. Well, any earning, as good as what he is, if it goes to the people, that the Wakefield, I'm not picking on Wakefield, but the average Joe public, through their pay-per-view expenditure, the, the answer's not there. It's going to branch out and branch out and branch out, mixing these people where he's going to get either sponsorship deals in or he's going to get, uh, you know, like back, back, back in and people's going to chuck money in and take a risk and it's going to go big and big and big and big. The answer is in, within, within, in the people pocket. Uh, all right then. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, what's, what's Eddie like at shows? Does he come over and say hello to you? Yeah, yeah, he does, his, he does his bit. He knows where he needs to walk, for example, so he needs where to show his face, you know, and sometimes there's a, there's a little bit of a bigger picture, you know, he, it, it gets, it, you know, it, it gets looked after, but obviously he looks after everybody else, he knows which tables to go to, which shows to go to, sort of, to bother with or not to bother with. All right, moving on then. Uh, what do you think about StubHub, the secondary ticket market? Would you Have you ever used it to get your tickets? I don't need it to get our tickets because obviously I'm mixed with somebody who, who, who puts an investment into something to do with matchroom but um, I, I don't know, is it, is it overpriced, is that what you're saying? Yeah of course people? it is, yeah. £5,000 for £2,000 tickets, I mean is that good? And copying sponsorship money as well, what, what do you think to that? Well what I think to that is, like I say back to me, my Wakefield example, which is only an example, how many, how many twenty pounds in five thousand? You know, if he can get, if he can, if he can get that platform, which is masterful thinking, and I'm, 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 uh, I'm name dropping all these, all these places, and where all these expenses, and where all this wealth is, and he can't get round to wealth. He can't shake everybody's hands, can he? He can't buy everybody drinks. Not everyone can come to before show and after show. We can't lay it all on. Essex only is big enough, so don't people who can't reach out to, you know. It puts, you know, it, it puts it out onto a platform like that. If people can afford it, he's going to lap it up. Yeah. And that's Eddie. And that's, that's what Eddie does. All right, then. What do you think about the EIS at Sheffield? You know, where the, the team, team GB train and all that. What do you think about Eddie having the monopoly on fighters up there turning pro? Well, again, you know, he's, he's yeah, he, he can put to start him. And he's obviously, I mean, I don't know what's happened behind the scenes. A lot of us will never know, but, you know, he's, he wants to pick up the crop because he's the number one promoter, you know, and he wants everything in this country and he's representing this country and he wants to be the best and he is the best and he wants the best stock, doesn't he? He wants the best blood stock. He don't want it going here, there and everywhere because he wants to control the industry. And when he controls the industry, because he's controlling the industry, he's controlling the sport. When he's controlling the sport, he's controlling 
Snapchat. So it's always been in America, obviously, but it's going to Saudi Arabia and he's just lapping it up. And he's just trying to make it better and better and better, and better you know? Yeah. Does Anthony Joshua beat Tyson Fury, yes or no? I think he does, yeah. I think he does. I think he's got determination and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a proper camp. I think he does. I think he'd be a shock. I think I'd be shocked a lot of people, but I think he does. Does Dylan White beat Tyson Fury? On his day, he could. On his day, Dylan White could beat Joshua. And he knows this, and I think everybody knows it, but it needs to happen. Uh, I mean, what did you think to Joshua getting knocked out by Andy Ruiz? I thought, I don't know. I, I, I don't think you can good place, to be fair. I don't know. I mean, everyone's allowed a, a sort of off day, and I think, I think he obviously prepared and he was fit and everything else. I mean, look at him, but I don't think mentally he was right place. And, um, I think he got a shock, didn't he? He got a shock and whatever kicked in, into his head and his mind yeah. and his body that night. I think he just, I think he just shut down a bit of fear crept in and when your heart's beating faster than what your head's trying to work that out to think about what you're doing next in boxing, you beat up. Yeah, uh, what did you think about Joshua's performance in Saudi against Ruiz in rematch? I think it was a bit of a game of chess, but at the same time, I just think he needed his belts back, you know, whatever Eddie said to him or Matchroom or his trainers or his, you know, there's a lot of investment in Anthony Joshua, you know, it's not just dancing around ring and ducking and weaving like doing the Tyson Fury sort of show and doing it fun thing and singing and everything else, there's a lot of money on that, there's a lot of backers on that, you know, there's a, it's, it's a boxing match you couldn't lose, there's a bigger picture, so, you know, when everyone's saying, you know, he's, he's, he's moving, he's, he's movement and how he did this, now he did that slugging Anthony Joshua off. Every day he brought them belts back and he got that win. And that was the most important thing. Because there's millions and millions and millions and millions of pounds of investment into it. That's why it's found in Saudi Arabia. And that's what people can't understand. He just had to win that fight. And God forbid he did. Alright, uh, do you think it's good if Anthony Joshua fights Tyson Fury in Saudi and then China, which is what the saying is going to happen? Do you think that's good for British fans? And will you be going to watch it if it's in Saudi and China? I'll be good. Well, I'll definitely, I'll definitely go. That, that excites me. You know, that really excites me. You know, you, I know there's conferences in Central America and you can go to. Uh, I mean, there's. there's there's all sorts of things in China, but obviously that excites me because I can get to China. It also excites me because the Muslim can get to Jews. Now, whether that's not good for British boxing, I don't know, but again, it's, it's, putting, it's putting guys into clap. And then I can't slag off, you know, I can't put down my own class, so they're giving us an opportunity, well, the earth is giving us an opportunity to get to Saudi Arabia and get to China and get all over the world and follow Joshua. And if he can pull that on, I'm all for it. If people can't, if people live their life and they can't get there, well, that's their choice, isn't it? <laughs> all right, now, well, listen, thanks for coming on. Uh, you've been interesting, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. But thanks for coming on. I don't agree with a lot of what you say, but, if there's any more casuals out there that want to come on here and voice your opinion, we're open to people coming on, but thanks for coming on and I appreciate your opinion. All right? Cheers, Paul. Take care. All right. Bye. Right. <laughs> and that was that. That was Matt the Casual's story. Yorkshireman living in Essex. It don't get more embarrassing, does it, that? Eh? I can't believe what I've just heard. We're trying for five weeks to get him on. I can't believe what I have just heard. The, it's, a, it's a cult, isn't it? It's, it's, it's become like a mind-altering drug for these gimps from Gimpville Island, because that's what they are, isn't it? Walking around with jeans halfway up the, up the legs.
It's, uh, you know, anyway. So, that's about it, really. Two seconds, let me just send this. Uh, I don't, that, is that's our boxing's going, we're in the wrong spot, aren't we? Because these people, they've been to a show. Dennis, I'm busy, I'll ring you in a bit. These people have, these people have been to a couple of matchroom shows. They've shook Eddie Hearn's hand and now they're following him around the world like he's the Pied Piper. I don't get it. He thinks Joshua beats Tyson Fury. I don't get it. It's his, it's his opinion. And, and uh, he's entitled to it. But you just heard him say then, he didn't know who the featherweight champion of the world was, Josh Warnington. He didn't know the light heavyweight champion of the world is Arthur Beater Beef. He didn't know. Featherweight and light heavyweight. Glam, what, of the seven divisions, the glamour weight divisions from the old school. He didn't know. And he just said that he didn't... He didn't see the boxing sometimes because they're having a good time. It's an event. I mean, what what's happening? What, what, what is happening? It, is it a movement? Or do I just not get it? Am I, am I a dinosaur? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but I'll be better prepared next time. I'll be better prepared next time, but... Don't have nightmares. Like and subscribe and leave a comment if you if you want. If you don't want to, it's up to you, isn't it? But, but like I said, I let him have his moment. Uh, Matt the casual and you heard his story. And that's getting into the mind of a casual. That's, that's basically summed it up, hasn't it? So, peace out, keep on chucking, keep supporting boxing, alright?